we are doing some string manipulation in this video we're going to do another example of encryption using a different technique if you watch video 10 you will see a way of using ord and char this one we're going to use a very different way of doing the exact same thing so let's get into it so if you remember encryption means taking some sort of text and scrambling scrambling it in some sort of way so that it's difficult to decipher what it is unless you know what the key is so the key is what you use to just to scramble it and if you know the key then you should be able to unscramble it or decrypt it so let's do this encryption where we're going to take this text and we're going to convert it now in the previous video we looked at an encryption where we took the a and converted it to a b and we took all b's and converted it to c and so on and stuff like that so that's what we're going to do okay so what i'm going to do in this technique is i'm going to actually create two special strings that i'm going to refer to i'm going to refer to my alpha string or my alphabet string and i'm going to in the beginning i'm going to make this my alphabet so s alphabet if it comes up s alpha oh, i've got a l there we go alphabet is equal to all the letters that i want i want a b c d e f g so i'm going to go do that quickly so i've gone and done my string so i've done all the capital letters i also did all the small letters after it okay so there we go so that's my string so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make my special string that i'm going to refer to so i'm going to call the s encrypt string um, and so this is the encrypt string so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to do the exact same thing except for i'm going to put the letters in the order that i want them to be so i want an a to oh not that undo i want the a to become a B and then I want the B to become a C and D so you can basically do your alphabet like that so this is the string that's going so whatever's at position one you must change it in here you want position one to be what you want the A to change to so that's what I'm going to do here so I've done that so far I'm going to get it to here so now I've got all them shifted up a bit now I've got to the Z now I need to decide what I want to do with my Z do I want it to go to the next character or maybe you just want it to go to an A in this case so in this case I want my Z to go back and to become an A so I can do that if I want so I'm going to do a capital A there and then I'm going to do the same thing over here I'm going to go B C D E F G with all not with the small letters Mr. Long not the big ones A B C D E F G with all the small letters but not with the A okay so that's going to become a capital A so there we go so the, the small A is going to become a small B small B is going to become a C and so on I'm going to just go do that string quickly and so you can see all of it's shifted up and then when i get to the z what do i want my z to be i want my z to now jump to an a so you can do something like that another thing i'm going to do is i don't want my space in the previous example we had the spaces get scrambled as well i'm going to make my spaces go to spaces so i'm going to just put a space at the end here and put a space at the end there and you can put all your punctuation marks here if you want you could do that if you want so um, you can do that so, okay so there's my two strings that i've got my my alphabet string and my encryption string so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to make a for loop that's going to go we've got our input which is s line that's going to be all the values in there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say for i equals from one until the length of s line because we want to do each and every character in that string and we're going to compile a new string so i've got this new string that's defaulted to nothing in it so i'm going to be looking at s line r okay so s line r i want to find where s line r is in my alphabet string so if i take that capital t that t is going to be somewhere over there that's going to be its position there so i'm going to find its position so i'm going to find um it's i'm going to call it um value r value okay so i'm going to say r value is equal to the position of this character at position one which will be the first one will be the capital t i want to find it in my s alphabet in this case it's going to go so it'll be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so it's character number twenty from what i can see if i count it correctly so that'll give me the value 20 so it tells me hey that capital t is at position 20 in the alphabet string well you know what you know what i'm gonna do then i'm gonna say my new string my this is going to be my resultant encryption scrambled magoli it's got nothing in it i want to put in instead of a t i'm going to put in a u 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that nothing string. I'm going to say take whatever's in S new and add whatever is in the encrypt string at position R value. Okay, so let's think about this. We just worked out that our value is at 20 because the capital T is at 20 in the alphabet. Now I'm saying go take S new, go look at the 20th character in here, which is the U, and add it on to S new. So that's basically means that it's going to become a U. And then the next character is going to be an H. And so it's going to find the position of the small H, which is over there in the alphabet string. It's going to find its value, and then we're going to add let's say it's 30 something so it'll add the 30 something character of the encrypt which will be the r because it's the corresponding value and it's going to add it on and so on and then it's going to add the spaces the problem is going to become if we got characters that aren't like full stops and that so the way that you can handle that full stops and spaces you can add them over here if you want to encrypt the spaces and that then you can say the space becomes something else you can do that as part of your encryption technique or if you don't want to do that another way that you can do it is you can say okay if so we just worked out the value of the character so if we don't if we have like a space you'll notice in a full stop I actually don't need the if there you'll find that the position of the full stop and the spacing here will be zero this alphabet will not doesn't have a space doesn't have a full stop so once i've worked out the value of the character so when we get to that space the the value of the space in alphabet will be zero so if at this point, if our value is equal to a zero, then we know we have a character that's not a letter. Then what do I want to do? I want to take S new is equal to S new. Just add that character back. Take whatever S line is. I don't care what it was. Just add it on. If it was a space, put the space back. If it was a full stop, put the full stop back. But if it wasn't, if it wasn't, something that's not there if it was something that is there that means it's one of those letters then we want to convert the letter to something to the next the corresponding value in the string and then over here we can just say show message is new because once we've done the loop and we've done all the values in the loop so that's the end of the loop it's done all the characters it'll all shift them up it'll take whatever the h's become that and then what that one will become that and it'll do that until it does the entire string and then we can display it. Let's see if that works. And in this string, you'll notice that the spaces will remain the same and the full stops will remain the same, but all the letters, they will change. Now you can obviously then change your, your alpha alphabet string and your encrypt string to include other characters like numbers and that. If you want to be more precise, so you can do that. So let's go encrypt. There we go. See, U, I, F, E goes to F. So you see, it works. And all the spaces have stayed the same and the full stop has stayed the same. So there we go. So you can change that. You can add numbers if you want to encrypt the numbers. Like a 1 becomes a 2 and so on. You can do that as well. Just add that to your, your alphabet string and then the corresponding value to your encrypt string. And you can do this in lots of ways. You can then say, okay, um, I want a completely different encryption string. So the A becomes an X and a, a B becomes a Y. You, you, there's no special rule. It's just a special gobbledygook that you made. So you can make your own encryption string. And to decrypt it, you just do the exact same thing, except for you do it in reverse. You are finding the value of S line in the encrypt string, and then you add the corresponding value in the alphabet string. So wherever you see the word alphabet, you will change it to encrypt, and wherever you see encrypt, you'll change it to alphabet. And that's how you do the decrypt. So that's a very basic like substitution type of style encryption that you can hopefully use with string handling. For more videos in this video series, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, click on that like button. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.